Hi, I'm super excited to share this with you. This is one of my favorite spells that I've been doing since I was a teenager. It's super inconspicuous and you can burn this and work this spell just in plain sight and nobody will know. They also make wonderful gifts. There's a lot of creative freedom and these are really versatile spells. So what you'll need is a store-bought candle, preferably soy wax because it's soft and you'll understand why. <laughs> you'll need that in a second. Then uh, any herbs or very, like you're gonna need very, very little. So any herbs or like anything that you want to load your candle with if you want to use oils, but again, you wanna use very little. And then we've got something to dig the candle, like dig a hole into the candle. Something small though, um, so you can use like a, a nail or a pen or even a, like a really small, very sturdy spoon. And then you're gonna need either a lighter or some matches. Before we get started, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, Ana Luisa, a carbon and water neutral jewelry company that not only helps support my channel, but also provided me with these three beautiful pieces that I'll be gifting to my mom for Mother's Day. As of this video, Ana Luisa has a buy one, get one for 40% off. So if you're a mother, a mother figure, or even just the mom friend in the group, then take a peek at the link below and see if they have anything that fits your fancy. I'd say it counts if you're a pet parent too. So first of all, um, this is a spell that I used to I would make either for myself and just burn in my room or something that I would make for my mom pretty often and unknowingly anytime she would light it, it would be activating my spell for like stress relief or luck or abundance or whatever that I charged the candle for. So um, I got these at Target, look for a candle that matched my intention. So like a smell or something that would match my intention. So just found these and it says join laughter. So I was like, oh, I'll just, do a spell candle for joy or you know like an uplifting feel like a cleansing uplifting type of spell um something like that that would draw that kind of energy into a space and then i have this smaller one this is called escape and discover it's by the same brand but i figured this one would be like a stress relief mind clarity type of spell so let's do these um let's start with the bigger one so and I also, this one like already has wax kind of like floating around anyway, so uh, kind of works out. So the thing is, is usually I like the bigger candles, the ones with like the three wicks, but those can also be pricier. So first of all, you would cleanse the candle. I've already cleansed these candles. And because I want this one to attract like cleansing, spacious, um, very like, light type of energy, I'm going to charge it for that and I'm gonna use these ingredients. Now, these ingredients are just ones that I literally just grabbed. They're not anything that, if you don't have them, you can't use it or whatever. Just use what you have, you know, as always. So first of all, kind of poke some holes in here and just kind of like basically dig out a little piece. And you don't want this hole like too big. You know, you, you want to be able to fit your ingredients in there, but you also don't want it like huge. Because we're going to cover it up. So personally, I just kind of push the wax to the side. You want to make sure that you keep this wax because you're going to use it later. And it really depends on how much ingredients you're planning on putting in there. I really suggest to go really light on the ingredients. You really don't want to be like loading this candle full because I mean a it can just kind of be uh, a bitch to burn later but also if you are gifting this to someone or if this is like one of those candles that you're setting on like a table and people can see it you're gonna see all these like weird stuff floating around so you just want to be kind of mindful of how much you're putting in here just remember that a little goes a long way. So I would say that's probably good. You know, like it's not ridiculously deep or anything, but um, that's, in, that's enough for me to load a small, small layer of herbs. And if I wanted to like maybe a drop of oil or something. I highly suggest if you have powders, use those because if you're using full herbs or even like small crystal beads, which I'm gonna be using these 
beads, I don't know, like, you know, chips, that's what they're called. I'm gonna be using this pink salt. So that would probably be as big of crystals if you wanted to use crystal chips. You really don't want anything big. I'm probably going to add maybe three of these. And then I have some rose petals here. And these I'm gonna be, oh, they smell so good. I'm going to be crushing up into uh, just somewhat of a finer powder instead of just full dried out leaves. But I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with what I got. So let's do three of these. Okay, I'm putting two, three. And then as you go, you know, you can charge each ingredient or you can hold it in your hand and charge each ingredient and put it in there. A very little amount of rose petals. And also if you have a coffee grinder, you know, you can also use that for this as well. A very minimal amount of rose. And so this is the part that's kind of hard, especially if you're like really trying to make sure this isn't seen or anything. Oh, see, I'm already messing up. Oh God. <laughs> it's fine. And if this happens, a lot of the time I'll actually just like throw some other rose petals over it. Um, and I mean, I've never really had anybody ask, but if I did have somebody ask, I'd just be like, oh, I, I don't know. I just thought I, they looked cute, decorated it with some rose petals. It's just a very minimal amount. I really don't need a lot. So I'm just gonna kind of like try to <laughs> uh, stuff these in there as best I can. Kind of have that loaded back. So now that we have that, right, I'm going to, let's see if I can get, I'm going to just cover this up and bury this and just really pack that back in there. Okay, and I might have like some extra wax that I might not use, I don't know. But basically I just wanna get that back in there. And now for this part, it really depends on your candle and like the layout of it and what kind of wax, like I said, you are going to have so much of an easier time if you use soy. See, and I already have, I have like some little extra pieces just of rose, but you don't want to light the candle. You want to just heat it up. And melt that wax again. Another really helpful way to do this <laughs> without lighting the candle quite yet is if you have a blow dryer, you can also use a blow dryer. And that's actually a lot easier than using like a lighter or matches, but I don't really have, I don't have a blow dryer. So I'm gonna be doing it this way for now. And honestly, like, because I have these extra little rose pieces, I'm just gonna like decorate it so that it covers all my terrible mistakes. <laughs> And I still think that that looks really pretty. So this is my candle for, you know, joy or just uplifting energy. And yeah, I would just set this out and light this wherever I wanted to, or I could gift it to a friend or something um, as well, you know, so that it's a little, it's a little less like abrasive of here's a spell candle, you know, it's it's still something that they can light and every time that they, you would charge the candle for every time that it's lit, that it activates your spell and yeah. Super simple. Let's do a smaller one. This one is for mental clarity and stress relief. So that's what I'm going to charge it for. Basically the smaller ones, the smaller the candle, the harder it's gonna be. Like the harder this whole process becomes, at least for me. So same thing, you're just gonna kinda dig out a little hole here. I'm using some chamomile, cause when you're calm, your mind is a little bit clearer. So I'm gonna put some of that in there. Crush, I'm probably only gonna use like a tad. 
Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of chamomile. So, I mean, I got these little spoons at like a <laughs> antique shop years ago. Um, this might be a little easier and more precise. Nope. Nope, I'm still making a mess. Fine, it's fine. Okay, so we got the chamomile, and then I'm gonna use just the little bit of goldenrod that Annie gave me. And again, like if you don't have, uh, you know, these specific herbs, don't fret. Just use whatever you've got at the time. That might be a little bit too big of a flower to fit in there. Yeah, probably. It's you know what. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna make it work. We are gonna make it work. It's fine. Okay. And then lastly, I have some lemongrass. Okay. So now that I've got most of it in there, I'm gonna pack it back up with the wax. These are great for like, if you, you know, work at a desk and you don't want people seeing like a spell that you're making. So you could do like success spells or road openers or Attraction spells for clients if you work at a desk and you know again You don't want people like seeing a spell work or a working happening right there um, These are great for those the the smaller these candles are The much more I would suggest getting a hairdryer and just because I'm not Needing to completely cover these if you really don't want to be showing uh, These herbs or you don't want it you know, like this one, make sure to dig at least, maybe like a knuckle down, right? And at least maybe the size of your index finger. These are smaller candles, so it'd probably be, I mean, you probably could do it with this one, but this one would be harder. And use like a small funnel to get all of your ingredients in. Don't just throw it in, you know, sloppy like I did. But like I said, I don't really need to hide my candles. But this is a really great way to implement spell candles because mine, mine are sloppy. These ones are more on the sloppy side, I will admit. But again, I'm not in a position where I need to hide my spell work. So if you really need to hide your spell work, I would highly suggest digging about a knuckle down. And for candles like these or bigger, at least the size of your index finger. And if you don't, if you really don't want to have anything seen, because in this candle, you can definitely see, I mean, this is sloppy, like I said, it's a very sloppy candle. Close it up and use a hair dryer, and that will be a lot smoother, and it'll be a lot less noticeable as a loaded candle. So that is my secret spell candle tactic, technique, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's it's worked for me for years. I still use it pretty often just because I, I do really like using store-bought candles sometimes because they smell nice and then I can also make them witchy. But I hope that you enjoyed. And again, thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. I will leave that link and all of the information for the Mother's Day sale down below. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Best of luck, be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye.